An air cycle cooling system uses bleed air from the engine. It cools the bleed air and uh, make and brings it to a temperature that is comfortable for the passengers and for the crew inside an aircraft cabin. And like a vapor cycle system that we checked in our previous video that uses a volatile liquid like Freon 12 and um, transforms it into vapor and then into into liquid again an air cooling system only uses bleed air that comes from the engine and from the apu as we saw in our previous video concerning pneumatics in this video we are going to be looking at air conditioning system using the air cycle cooling system thank you and welcome again to the channel an air in, a, in an air cycle cooling system, we're going to look at the, the main components that are found in an air cycle cooling system and how the system uh, works all together. So an, uh, a combination, a whole air cycle system uh, with its components makes what we call a, an air conditioning pack. So if you hear me saying a pack or referring to a pack, don't be confused. Basically, it's the whole system put together which is called an air conditioning pack. So the main components that are found in an air conditioning system that uses an air cooling system, we have one, we have a flow control valve. A flow control valve uh, controls the flow of bleed air from the engine to the air conditioning pack. It ensures a constant flow of bleed air to the air conditioning pack. The second function of the flow control valve it acts as a shut-off valve. For example, it can be used to switch off um, the air conditioning pack in some systems, and to actually to switch it, to switch a con uh, an air conditioning pack on or off. So those are the two functions of a flow control valve. Next component is an air cycle machine. An air cycle machine uh, has two main functions, and actually, it has two components within it that are used to achieve the, the two functions that it has. It has a compressor and it also has a turbine. Both the compressor and the turbine are mounted on a single shaft, which in some aircraft configuration, the same same shaft also has a fan air, a fan that is used that, uh, in the ram air duct to, to basically suck in the ram air over the heat exchanger. So the first stage uh, of um, uh, or the first uh, function of an air cycle machine, which happens at the compressor stage, is the compression of the bleed air. Once the bleed air has moved uh, from the flow control valve to the uh, air cycle machine, it is compressed by the compressor that is found in the air cycle machine. This compression causes an increase in temperature and an increase in pressure to the air flow or to the bleed air that was up from the engine to the flow control valve and out of the compressor. So that is the only function of the compressor. It uh, compresses uh, the bleed air, raising its temperature and its pressure. Now we move to the second stage, which is the turbine. At the turbine, now the bleed air that was already compressed and uh, compressed at the compressor stage, it comes to the turbine through after passing by the heat exchanger, it comes to the turbine where the hot, the heat that was added on to the bleed air, the heat is extracted. This cools the bleed air to a very low temperature, at times uh, below freezing temperature, and two, the energy that drives the compressor is extracted in the process by the turbine from the hot uh, bleed air that comes from the heat exchanger. So those are the two uh, functions that, uh, or two operations that takes place inside the air cycle machine. Next is the turbine bypass valve uh, on some aircraft, which is called a trim air valve, like for example, on an Airbus A320, it is called a trim air valve. The function of a turbine bypass valve or a trim air valve is basically to bypass some hot air before going into the turbine and this air will be later used, as we'll see later, to mix with the cold air and that uh, adjusting the temperature to the desired temperature for the cabin. 
The next component is the water separator. The water separator is used to remove all the condensed moisture from the air before the air goes to the cabin. That's the only function of the water separator. And this air, this water, once the water separator has removed it and it has collected it, has collect, uh, collected it, it sprays the air to the heat exchanger and this assists in cooling the heat exchanger. Next is the anti-ice valve. The function of the anti-ice valve is basically to ensure the turbine outlet uh, is, does not uh, does not freeze. Basically, in some hot air are supplied. Is sub, sorry, uh, some hot air is supplied uh, at the outlet of the turbine to make it warm, therefore preventing freezing at the turbine outlet. So this hot air passes through the anti-ice valve. It's the anti-ice valve that regulates this hot air that goes to the, out, the turbine outlet. The next component is the ram air inlet and outlet doors. This is uh, the ram air provides uh, or control the amount of air that is allowed to flow across the heat exchanger and out of the heat exchanger. That is basically the function of the regulation of the amount of air that flows across the heat exchanger. The next component is the heat exchanger itself. The heat exchanger, this is where the cooling of air takes place. Uh, once the air comes, uh, the primary, the first cooling stage, once uh, the bleed air comes from the compressor, in the air cycle machine, it goes through the heat exchanger where it's a little it's it is cooled a little bit by the ram air that passes across the heat exchanger that is that is um, cooling the uh, air that is inside the heat exchanger using the ram air that passes across the heat exchanger finally the last component we have in the system is the mixing chamber the function of the mixing chamber this is that uh, this is the place where the hot air that was bypassed uh that was bypassed uh, and uh, yeah. the air that was bypassed at the turbine bypass valve and the air that comes from the turbine outlet is mixed to the desired temperature for the cabin. We're going to look at a diagram which is a basic system with all these components. As you can see this is our diagram. We have all these components listed uh, that we mentioned before here. Uh, I want to point out this is just a basic diagram uh, with, the, with the components that we've mentioned. Different aircrafts and different configuration have slight variation from this, but in most systems, the system is basically the same. It is more or less the same. These are the main major components you're going to find in most of the air cycle cooling system. So like we said, uh, from our pneumatic uh, system, from the, basically the bleed air in the from, that comes from the engine of the APU, the air passes through the flow control valve. Remember the flow control valve ensures a constant flow of air to the cooling pack. This air from the flow control valve goes through the compressor where it is compressed, rising temperature and pressure, then it goes through the heat exchanger, from the heat where it is cooled with the ram air that passes across uh, this, uh, ram air, uh, this ram air duct and then to the exit outboard. From the heat exchanger, the air flows to the turbine of the air cycle machine. You can see, like I said, there's, a one, there's one shaft where the turbine and the compressor is mounted and even the fan, uh, even the cooling fan in the ram air duct. So, at the turbine, the air is further cooled, the energy to drive the compressor is extracted here, and the temperature is cooled mm -hmm. to freezing temperature. From the turbine, the air goes to the water separator. Now here there's some, a slight difference between uh, this system and other system. Actually, most of the system, as you can see, this, 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 is, a di this is a turbine bypass valve. Remember I told you some air is bypassed, does not go through the turbine. And this air is coming, is mixed with the cold air from the turbine. But in other system, this takes place inside the mixing chamber. It is not done here. You can see this diagram shows the mixing chamber is beyond this point. But in most, most system, the mixing of the turbine bypass valve and the turbine outlet air 
uh, the turbine bypass valve air, the air that was bypassed, and the turbine outlet air is mixed in the mixing chamber. So, yes, this is our turbine bypass valve. This is our water separator where the moisture is removed. You see this pipe is used uh, to, the, to the collected water that was collected uh, from the air is taken and sprayed to the uh, to the heat exchanger and this enables further cooling of the heat exchanger and from this water separator it goes to the mixing chamber and then to the cabin mm, this is an anti-ice valve uh, you remember we said uh, hot air some of the hot air passes through this valve and comes at the outlet of the turbine is brought here to prevent freezing of this outlet so this is what we had for you in this video I hope you've understood if there is any place where you need a correctification, sorry, when you need a clarification, please you can indicate that in the comment. In our next video, we're going to look at pressurization system of an aircraft. We thank you for tuning in and see you in the next video.